Hi YouTube, Mako here. Wanted to do a comparative video between uh, commercial fiberglass bows and the PVC uh, flattened bows that are prevalent on YouTube and many other sources. So today we're going to be looking at the Barnett Sport Flight and my Alien Longbow in comparison. The Barnett Sport Flight is a 25 pound, advertised 25 pound, solid fiberglass ambidextrous bow. It comes in a kit, which is inclusive of a finger tab uh, made of what I'd call cheap plastic. It doesn't have any uh, protection, that offers very little protection to your fingers. Uh, it also has two fiberglass arrows with integrated points and plastic fletching. The plastic fletching is problematic, however, because this Bar Barnett Sport Flight was meant to be shot off the shelf, and there is no uh, feather fletch and no rest, and that's a bad combination. Uh, beyond that, one other issue is that the string that comes with it doesn't fit any commercial knocks that I have, as well as the arrow itself that comes with the bow. Uh, so I ended up reserving it uh, so that I could get a better knock to string fit. Uh, in comparison, I'll be talking about my Alien Longbow, which I've posted videos of. Uh, this is a three quarter inch Schedule 40 bow. It's inspired by the works of Nicholas Tamahama and the Backyard Bowyer, and the PBC Archery and Crafting Forum on Google Plus uh, that is uh, open to the public. And it's basically a flattened PVC pipe. Um, the two bows in comparison uh, aren't exact duplicates of each other, but they're very similar. Um, the fiberglass bow is about five and a half, six inches longer, uh, but they both share the longbow profile and no recurve. Um, as far as measuring draw weight, um, I took an arrow and I measured out uh, the length of the arrow from the knot gap to 28 inches and then marked it with some painter's masking tape and found a luggage scale. Uh, you can buy these at Walmart for about $8 and basically pulled back each bow uh, measuring the weight at 28 inches once the tape reached the back of the grip, basically where your hand sits. And uh, what I found is that the, the Barnett measures out at about 27 pounds, um, so a little bit higher than their advertised weight. And the uh, Alien Longbow, uh, I had originally measured at 27, but uh, in remeasuring again today, I found that it actually measures a little bit heavier. Um, it's closer to 28 or 29 pounds, so we'll call it within a pound or two difference of the Barnett, but close enough for our purposes. The arrows I'm using are gold tip traditional carbon arrows. I used a kitchen scale to measure them out in grams at 25.9. And then I did an internet search and found a gram to grain calculator that puts these arrows right at 400 grains. And they're what I use for everything on the test today.
so bottom line, uh, what I learned today, hopefully it picked up in the video, a uh, few things. Uh, I think first and foremost, the test today proved uh, what I think many in the PVC archery community already knew to be true, and that is PVC pipe bows are not any more or any less inferior or better or worse than traditional bow making materials. Uh, a solid fiberglass bow uh, and a PVC pipe bow in comparable weights perform uh, adequately and they and they very much in the same wheelhouse with each other. Um, comparing the two bows uh, as they were outlined uh, and prescribed in today's footage, the Barnett bow I spent about uh, $40 when you include tax uh, to purchase that bow. Um, it included accessories that frankly I personally feel uh, really didn't add any value to the bow. Um, it also required some work to make it uh, shoot and perform considering the string issue. Um, it's a little heavier in the hand. That could be a good thing or a bad thing. It's heavier than the PVC pipe bow. It's actually longer. Um, I don't. Ha I didn't have an adequate way of measuring that today, but uh, that could add to stability. So that's not necessarily a positive or a negative. Um, outside of that, um, the one negative that I would say, uh, and hopefully it was picked up in the video today, is it has a definite twang to it on the shot. The PVC bow is a lot more quiet on the shot, uh, even at a higher weight uh, as far as uh, pull. It uh, shot quiet more quietly. I don't know if that's a function of the string. That's the one variable today that I was not uh, that I did not uh, change outside of serving. I can tell you that the fiberglass bow string is a smaller strand so string, so it should technically be more efficient. I don't think there's any stretch to it. I don't think it's fast flight, but it's a more modern material than the Dacron string. Uh, the string that I have on the Alien Longbow is a 14 strand Dacron string. It's overbuilt for 25 pounds. It's, it's definitely heavier than the string on the fiberglass youth bow. So when you factor all those things in, the PVC bow technically, by a small margin, outperformed the fiberglass bow today. Um, that I don't know that that would stand the test of time. I'm not ready to assume that PVC and equivalent weight is better than fiberglass. But I think this this uh, hopefully the empirical data that was you know shown uh, illustrates to people the fact that PVC bows are legitimate archery tackle. Uh, it's new. It's uh, people assume that a pipe bow cannot be efficient, uh, and that's just not the case. Um, you know the backyard bowyers uh, YouTube channel. There's a growing community of PVC. Uh, archers out there. Um, I suggest uh, you go out and take a look at YouTube. Uh, you can buy Nick's book, the Backyard Bowyer's book. Uh, go to the Google Plus community. It's open to the public. Um, Tim Piatek uh, put that up and it's a very valued place for people that want to create their own archery tackle to share in ideas and in techniques and uh, create something original for yourself. Um, there's a time commitment to it, but when you factor in the raw pipe uh, versus what you pay for a entry level bow, you know the pipe itself is about three dollars. Um, I don't want to leave the impression that's the only expense because you do have other expenses. Uh, there's some tools you can get in very cheaply. However, um, you'll find yourself if you if you fall in love with the craft of making those bows you'll probably want to buy some uh, more expensive tools down the road but you can do it with a stove top and uh, minimal cutting equipment and just PVC pipe and you know get yourself into a bow that performs very much uh, like or outperforms or is comparable to a fiberglass bow that you could buy uh, for 10% or less of the cost. Um, 
I think that's a fair evaluation. Um, I plan on, I hope this was uh, informative to people today. I plan on uh, doing, I've got another video that I'm going to be putting up, uh, co doing a comparison in a different fold around PVC bows and the types of bows and how they perform against each other. And uh, anyway, I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, please post a uh, comment. Uh, come visit us at the Google Plus uh, forum for PVC archery. It's, uh, I'll put that link in the uh, description of the video. And uh, thanks for watching.